Hey, what's up guys? So a bunch of new cards came out today and uh, they are already implemented into Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. So we're going to take a look at some of the new cards. We got Winter Witches, we got support for the Melodus. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and kick it off with our first card. And then we'll also show you guys some replays in action using some of the newer stuff. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and kick it off with our first card, the Rare Metal Foes. Big Magia over here. So it's a Pendulum Scale of 8. It's Pendulum Effect is once per turn, you can target one other face-up card you control, destroy it, and if you do, set one Metal Foe Spell and Trap directly from your deck. That's a pretty good effect. And then it's Monster Effect is if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can add one Metal Foe's Monster from your deck to your hand during the end phase of this turn. You can only use this effect of Biz Magia once per turn. The next up card that we're going to be looking at is Metal, uh, Metal Foes Fusion. So it's a quick play that says Fusion 1 Metal Foes Fusion Monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion materials. Then we got a new Winter Witch. This is the Wind Witch. Uh, if this card is normal or special, you get to add one Wind Witch monster from your deck to your hand except for Wind Witch Glass Bell. Also, you can ask for some monsters for the rest of the turn, except for wind monsters. You can only use this effective when witch glass bell once per turn. That's an insane effect. That, like, makes them so much more viable. Uh, Crystal Synchro is just going to be such a huge threat with this. You know, Crystal Wing Dragon is still one of the best cards that you can make in the whole, like, you can't special summon stuff except for wind. Still a very strong monster in the game. And um, then there's also more support for the Melodus. So, uh, this is Astanio, or Astanado. Um... If you control no monsters, you get to fusion sell one Melodus fusion monster from your extra deck using two monsters from your hand or deck as fusion materials. And at that point, you already know it's good. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like a Shadal fusion. Just use it from your deck, man. Uh, anyways, uh, during the end phase of the t this turn, destroy the monster fusion summoned by this effect. And if you do, if all the fusion materials that were used for the, its fusion summon are in your graveyard, you can special summon all of them. That's really crazy. If we get something that just allows uh, just ability to special summon Christia, I don't know, that'd be crazy. Because <laughs> that card is like one of the cards that can completely destroy uh, a lot of different decks in the game. But uh, anyways, there's other uh, fusions that we're going to be taking a look at. So we got the Metal Phosis Mithril over here. So it's one Metal Phos monster and one Pendulum monster. You can target two Metal Phos cards in your graveyard and one card on the field. Shuffle the first targets into the deck. If you do, return the second target to the hand. You can only use this effect of Mithril once per turn. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one face-up Metal Phos Pendulum monster from your extra deck or one Metal Phos Pendulum monster from your graveyard, which is actually really helpful. And then we have the Alkahest over here. So one Metal Foes monster, one normal monster. Uh, I don't know if they just changed the card uh, text in here, but it was it was in like the new like uh, recent update to OCG thing. But anyways, uh, once per turn, uh, or it must be fusion summon, it can't be special summoned by other ways. Uh, it's uh, once per turn during your opponent's turn, you can target one effect monster on the field, equip that target to this card. This is a quick effect. This card gains defense equal to the combined original attack of the monster equipped to uh, by this effect. While this card is equipped with a fusion material listed on the Metal Foes fusion monster, you can use that equipped card you control and its fusion material for that monster. And then lastly, we have the Edleon Beast uh, support Coctus, or is it Cocky? Oh, anyways, the Edleon Beast, and then we'll also show you guys them in action. So it requires Alice for the Edleon Summon and a Water Monster. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by an opponent's card effect. Uh, this card can attack while in face up defense position. If it does, apply its attack for damage calculation. So that's interesting. Uh, maybe you remember on that Sword and Shield, you know, swap the attack and defense. I don't know. But then at that point, it only has a thousand defense. You guys let me know if you guys think this card is kind of good. I think it can be kind of good because it can't be targeted or destroyed by an opponent's card effect. So basically, I have to bounce it back, Castell, you know, that kind of stuff. But anyways, let's go and check them out in action. So uh, let's go exit this and go to that, those young replays. So Astano, really decent card over here. Let's you OTK really easy and it allows a, for a lot of potential that the deck really needed because Melodus keep on getting more support but you know who's really playing them? I haven't seen really anyone play this deck but just a really simple aggressive little push that you can do special 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 you know is that, is that six samurais dude? Like he just completely destroys his opponent over you but his opponent lives with 800 life points. If only he had another level four he can go straight into it. Now I also want to quickly mention a small little thing that you can go for. So Bloom the Diva of the Metal's Choir it will not get destroyed because it can't be destroyed by battle by card effects and you know that card Asano that destroys it during the uh, end phase you don't have to worry about that. Uh, even though I guess you wouldn't really be going minus because you can special. But anyways, the warning's activated and the guy just has to quit because uh, he could not Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, you know, that's just how Yu-Gi-Oh! is these days. But anyways, the new Wind 
Bell is here in action, and uh, it's a pretty decent card. It, his opponent's not going to really play, but, you know, that's how Yu-Gi-Oh! is these days. That's how a lot of decks orient themselves. And Wind Witches are basically like that, because they want to just be able to make the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. I feel like if you get two Crystals, like, your opponent has to GG unless they have, like, a Dark Hole. Like, uh, it's just so easy to play really aggressive in this deck, because you have the uh, Wind Bell over there, and then you can go ahead and bust out, like, a Double Synchro. And when you combine this with a Crystal Wing, it's just, you're going to be able to be very, very aggressive. And then on top of having, um... Crystal Wing, if you had any back row, like a Warning, a Warning plus a Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon makes it game for a lot of different decks. They just can't engage you at all. Even an ABC deck will have a lot of problems dealing with Crystal Wing because it's a, you know, really good card. Um, but anyways, what's funny here, he disrespects his opponent, negates his own effect, and then it is able to one-shot him. Just in case he had Gorgs, you know, can't survive that. Uh, but nonetheless, that's the, some of the new stuff in action uh, as far as the Winter Wind uh, Witches and uh, also the uh, new support for the melodist but uh, also i wanted to mention really quick gonna give myself a shout out to my new gaming channel i just uploaded this vid called aragami it's a really really cool stealth ninja game if you guys want to check it out i'll leave a link down below in that description box and you guys can check out the game aragami it's really cool it's one of my favorite games that i think i've played this year but i just uploaded part once so if you guys want to check that out link down below but if you enjoyed the vid make sure you guys give that like button a pity slap i am signing out